Hello everyone, welcome back. This is a two marks question from GATE 2008 exam. They have given you a program to reverse a string that is entered by user. That means, for example, say user enters ABC. This program will print CBA on the screen. That means the same string but in reverse order. So this program is incomplete. They are asking what must be written on place of A and B to complete this program. And these are the four options. Now have a look. First line in main function will print this thing on the screen. That means you will see enter text. Then you are changing the line. That means the cursor will now be in next line. Then you are calling this function. After calling this function, again you are changing line and the program ends. That means most of the things are done inside this function only. That means here, okay. So all the important logic of the program is implemented here. That means this part of the code, it is responsible for asking for an input, then reversing it and then displaying it back onto the screen, which also means there must be printf and scanf inside this function to get the input and display the input back. Okay. Or it can be get care and put care. And from options, it is clear that it is get care and put care. Okay. Now option A can directly be rejected because it has only get care. If you think option A must be answered, then on both of these places, you will write only get care. That means this part of the code will never be able to display something on the screen. Okay. Because we don't have put care in option A. Similarly, this one is also rejected. This one is also rejected. Here we only have put care. That means this part of code will only be capable of writing something on the screen, but it will never accept any input. Okay. And you can see only option D is correct one. So answer is option D. This one was a shortcut and I'm not here to teach you shortcuts. Okay. Even though I recommend using shortcuts in exam, but don't completely rely on them. You need to know how this code is working. So let us start the question now. See, you will print this on screen, then you will change line, then you will call this function. That means first thing is a activation record for main function is present on the stack. This is activation record of main. Then main function calls this function named reverse. So one more activation record for reverse is pushed on the stack, this one. Now control will go here. You are declaring a integer that is named C. So int C is declared in activation record of reverse. Okay. This is activation record for reverse. I'm writing R. Now C. You have written F A. Inside this condition of F, you might be checking value of some variable. Okay. But currently, no local variable has any value. C is right now declared. There is no value present in C. It might be some random value. Okay. Some random garbage value. So this is a very good place to accept an input. It looks like first, it's obvious that first you need to accept an input only then you will be able to reverse it. So it looks like you must accept an input in C. And because we are using these functions get care and put care, it is also clear that input is accepted character by character. So one character can be saved in this C. Okay. Now you might think that how can we save a character in an integer type variable? See characters can be saved in integers because eventually character has to be saved as it's a sky value. If you enter capital A, actually 65 will be saved. Okay. So that value 65, it can be saved in integer also. That means here we want to accept an input. See, option A can be rejected once again also because in option A, here you are accepting an input, but that input is nowhere saved. You are writing get care. That means you are asking for an input from user, but you are not capturing that input. You never know what key has user entered. Okay. So this is rejected. In option B, you are saving that input in get care. Sorry, in variable C. See, get care will ask for input and then it is saved in C. This can be the answer, but you already know it is rejected. For similar reason, option D can be the answer. Okay. And you know it is the answer. Anyways, the thing is whatever input is taken from user is saved in variable named C. 
Now we are trying to compare it with backslash n. See, suppose user entered capital A. Suppose this is capital A. Now we are checking if this is not equal to backslash n. That means user has not pressed the enter key, which actually is true. User has entered capital A and surely it is not the enter key. See, capital A's value is 65 and backslash n, it might be having the value 10 or 13. I'm not sure. Probably it is 10. Okay, so 10 and 65, they are not equal. That means this condition is true. Okay. So you will call this function reverse because this condition is true. On place of A, we have written this line. Okay. Now see, here user has entered 65 or capital A. Okay. And you can see this condition is true. That means this function reverse is called. That means one more activation record will be pushed down to the stack for new function. This function will be paused here only and you will start executing the new function. When this new function is completely executed, you will come back to this function only and you will execute its remainder section. Okay, the remaining part of this function. That means this line B. So I'm writing B here because line number B is remaining for this function. Now let's talk about the new function. Inside new function also and C will be declared. Similarly, this function will once again ask for input. Suppose this time you press B. Now, get care will return B. Okay. Capital B. So, currently this is the input. And capital B is also not equal to backslash n. That means this time also this condition is true. And once more this function reverse will be called. So, capital B has a sky value 66. And this condition is true. So once more, the function will be called. Okay, this one is paused at line number B. And now you are executing this one. Here also, in if this condition will be checked, that means a input will be given by the user. Okay, suppose this time user enters C, which is 67. Now 67, it is once again not equal to backslash n. So the condition is true. That means once more this function reverse is called okay this function is called once again this one is paused and whenever this function ends you will come back here and you have to execute line number b okay now when this function is uh, started from the first line and c is declared then if condition is checked inside if you have written get care that means program is asking for one character input Suppose this time user presses this enter key, okay, the this key, next line or enter, whatever you might call it. Now, this is actually equal to this. So this condition will become false because this condition now becomes false. You will not call this function and you have to execute B now. For this function, reverse is not called once again. That means instead of calling one more function, this function will now end. See, now what we want to do? We just want to print these characters in reverse order. That means first user entered A, then user entered B, then user entered C. And we want to print it like this. Okay, we want to print it downwards. That means we want to keep on popping these records and printing side by side. Now see. Currently, the cursor is here. This contains backslash n because user entered or user pressed the enter key. Okay. Now, if we print this, what will happen? Line will be changed. You will be here. Okay. Then we want to pop this because this function, it's no longer needed. Okay. Okay. Have a look. Now, if this B is replaced with put care C, everything will work perfectly fine. In this function, you'll execute B, that means put care C. So this new line will be printed and you will come in the new line. Then last line for this function is executed. That means this function has completely executed all the lines. So this activation record is popped. Okay, you'll come back to this function and you are going to execute line number B because that is the only part of the code which is remaining this line okay which says put care c 
So this function wants to print this C. C is 67. If you want to print it as character, what will be printed? 67 is a sky value of capital C. So capital C is printed. Now this function has also executed all the lines. So it will also be popped. Okay. What will happen? You will come back to its calling function. That means this one and you have to resume from line number B. That means this line which is put care C. So again you want to print 66 as a character. So 66 is the sky value of capital B. Okay. Parallelly now this one will also be popped. You will come to this function. You will execute the remaining line that is put care C. And you want to print 65 which is a sky value of capital A. And we have printed the reverse of string which user has entered. So how is the string actually reversed? It is done with the help of this stack only. The recursion stack or the function stack. You keep on saving the characters in activation records. And whenever you want to print, you print the topmost character. Then one below it, then one below it, so on. So automatically the string will be printed in reverse order because here user entered A, this one is B, this one is C, this one is D, this one is E and so on. And when you want to print, you go this way. So automatically it will be reversed. Okay.